This was Turkey's top grossing movie last year. In its opening week, it sold twice as many tickets in Turkey as the latest Star Wars installment did. Rigging in $23 million, Duhun Dernek Iki exemplifies one side of the country's dynamic movie industry. At the other end of the spectrum are independent films. They rely solely on state funding and often look for recognition at international film festivals rather than box office success. If that happens, I think the Ministry of Culture is happy because it is, show, it is doing a showcase of Turkey to the people abroad. Um, so it's not particularly looking for films that can sustain itself. But independent filmmakers believe their work could be sustainable. Last year, locally produced films accounted for 57% of domestic ticket sales. Of the 271 films produced in Turkey in 2015, 49% brought in a record $126 million. But 137 films, most of them independently produced, never found a mass audience. The Istanbul Film Festival tries to offer these movies a new life. To help fund independent films and realize their potential beyond festivals, Ali Betil co-founded the Yeni Film Fonu. The things that the filmers or filmmakers in Turkey need the most, I think, is funds like this to be established uh, independently. And action. Despite producing acclaimed independent movies in the U.S., like Love is Strange, Ali believes bigger opportunities and more interesting stories can be found in Turkey. It's not about that, Mindy. It's a Poughkeepsie. Movies can be very influential in opening a new understanding, opening a new idea about who we are, how we relate to each other. In Turkey, Turkey is a very, very dynamic place. It's a very dynamic society. There's a lot of internal conflicts, a lot of turmoils, a lot of highs and lows. Dramatic events make for compelling content. And for now, the best place to find such movies is at the Istanbul Film Festival. Andre Pierre Duplessis, TRT World, Istanbul.